it's a sad day in the world of cartoons. Um, something that I haven't really talked about is I'm a big cartoon guy, not just as a fan. Like one of my um, one of my dreams is to someday write for a cartoon show, and I've had the amazing opportunity to pitch shows to uh, animation studios before. Um, I've pitched everywhere to Disney, to Nickelodeon, and to Cartoon Network, where uh, a new story is broken out about a creator named Kyle Carosa. He created a show called Mighty Ma- Ma- Magis- Ma- Magiswords. Uh, it's a show that I have not watched. This kind of hits a little bit close to home because he resides in Burbank, um, which is where I pitched to Cartoon Network. But um, Kyle apparently was um, was arrested uh, on two uh, two child two CP possession charges, and is I believe awaiting trial. He worked on uh, st- as a storyboard artist on like um, on Adventure Time, on Animaniacs, on Doc McStuffins, which is a show I didn't watch. I did watch Adventure Time um, and a bunch of other shows as well. So uh, I've also heard that a lot of people like within the area have worked with him before, and one person in particular uh, that I know had worked with him really closely and said that he was the most uh, just kind person, and you just you just don't know. It's a complete shock. It's like, wow, so this person that I really looked up to is now kind of a monster of a person. It's 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 scary when that happens because it's like, how, how do we know the true selves of anyone? You know, I guess you don't. So it's just it's one of those things where it's like it you know it sucks to hear, and I think it always sucks to hear when something like this happens in in a in a realm that I very much um am a fan of just the animation realm and you know I don't like I don't like to hear this story anywhere of course but in a cartoon world that I, I really love it just sucks to hear it. So if he is indeed convicted on whether it's a misdemeanor or a felony, uh he is gonna have to register as a sex offender. Um and obviously his animation career is kaput. But um it's just something I wanted to talk about because like, you know, I'm a big cartoon guy. Kind of what he was doing was, you know, just creating animation and, and writing. It's just something I always wanted to do. Also, another interesting thing, which is kind of a judgment on his looks, is that he does kind of look like that stereotypical basement dweller. Most of the articles I've been seeing have been using this photo, and it, obviously that's intentional just to make him look like the most creepiest looking dude, and he, he kind of does. So, yeah, uh, obviously... How you look doesn't determine your character, but it's just one of those one of those things where you see the photo and you're like, yeah, I don't know what more could be said about this. So um, I just wanted to talk about it and bring it up. It's just not a story uh, you want to hear. So I uh, just want to talk about that. And yeah, that's I guess that's it. All right. Talk to you later.